we come so close, so close to losing everything. And it still makes me cry. Dolores Palmer, affectionately known to those in Forest Hill as Mama Lori, reflecting on the fire that threatened their entire community. Because a lot of people lost a lot of stuff. And I th thank God that he, he felt that I needed to have where I live. One year ago, Cruz began fighting the Mosquito Fire, which took a turn heading straight for Forest Hill. I was at home and I woke up and the smoke and I started like panicking. The flames forcing evacuations for Jennifer Jewell and thousands of others. During that time when you're away from home, what are you, what are you thinking the whole time? My house is gone. My house is gone. We, we thought everything was gone. Mm -hmm. Some people deciding to stay behind. There's not a car, there's not a person, there's nothing. And we, there was maybe, maybe five or 10 of us all together that stayed behind and different people took care of different sections. Justin Montgomery says at first he just wanted to protect his home, but then he saw the greater need. Went around and fed all the people's chickens, their animals, their dogs, people's livestock all needed to be cared for. Today, only charred stems remain where lush forests once occupied. My husband and I would come here once a week for lunches and you know, sit on the bench and it was just so green and, and just full and just so, yep. and then all of a sudden you're seeing the rolling hills and no trees. A stark difference in a community forever changed. Uh, the hue of the, the, the mountain is all green, so it's coming back and you know, 20 years, you'll never notice. When we first got back, I wrote on my car windows, Forest Hill Stronger, you know, and we have been. Dozens of people have stopped by Warden's Market today to reflect on the devastation. Many of them sharing with me that they still see beauty in the burn scars and how strong this community truly is. In Forest Hill, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. The fire destroyed 78 structures and damaged 13 others. Yeah, while the cause of the fire is still being investigated, equipment from BG&E was seized as part of the investigation. A report from the utility company showed a power pole was located near where that fire started.